And here we are on another Sunday with another episode of Fallout 4 Mods Weekly, the series where I show you guys the best mods to come out each and every week. This one's going to be a little bit shorter, or at least a little bit shorter than I could have made it, basically because it is finals week. I have a final on like Tuesday and Thursday I have to study for. So as much as I'd love to do anything but studying, I unfortunately have to resume doing that. So again, there's only going to be a few mods in this one, but all of them are quite high quality. And I think a lot of these you're going to be pretty hyped over. I also do just want to mention real quick my Nuka Design shirt sticker. You can get it on a bunch of different things. It's only a temporary design. It's actually going to be taken off the internet in two days. So if you want to get it, get it now. Otherwise, it'll be gone forever. And yeah, that's about it. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into the video. So we actually have a HUD mod or a modification for an existing HUD mod. So this might not be for everyone, but basically generic compact HUD is, as you can see in the bottom left corner, going to be a generic and compact HUD. It's going to be using the framework put forward by Def UI. Basically with that, you can customize your HUD in a bunch of different ways. And this is going to be a preset for Def UI. So you're going to need to have that mod installed in order to use this, but I really like this. I feel like it gives you a nice simplistic look. It really condenses everything to just that corner. You'll never have anything else on your screen. I think it's a really nice alternative to you something like immersive HUD where you have almost no HUD, but this time you still have everything available to you instantly. It just doesn't take up much space. It's not going to be for everyone. I know a lot of people are probably not going to like how it's kind of curved like that, but I imagine that's something you could fix fairly easily by just editing some of the files and the tilt on it. All around though, it's a kind of a different mod. I don't normally cover things like this, but I saw it. I really liked it. So hopefully you guys will too. Then we're going to have Dead Skies. Wait, did, did you see that right? Was that? What was that? Yeah, this thing's available on PS4, so that's pretty cool. PS4 modding, not dead, right? This is going to be a weather overhaul for Fallout 4 with the aim to make the Commonwealth look a lot more post-apocalyptic. It's going to try and make things look more like a wasteland. It's going to incorporate a bunch of other kind of dusty weathers. A lot of the inspiration is from dust from Fallout New Vegas. And even beyond that, it's highly recommended you to use the Dust Bowl overhaul, which is another mod that kind of makes everything look deserty, which you see in the background. This again is just a weather mod. It's going to change some of the visuals as well as add in some new weathers. There's two versions, an ambient and a polluted version. The polluted version is going to have more of a Fallout 3 look and just be a little bit dirtier. The ratio of dust storms to regular weather is going to be much higher in the favor of dust storms. Or the ambient version is a little bit more standard. It's still going to have a different look, but not to the same level. Kind of an interesting time to be using this. Obviously, it's going into winter for a lot of the US, so having a dust overhaul is maybe not for everyone right now, but maybe it is for you. Maybe you're trying to escape reality with this. Either way, it's definitely very cool. It without a doubt accomplishes its job of making the game look more post apocalyptic. Here's actually a smaller YouTuber's look on the Fallout 3 version versus the vanilla version. I think it looks really good. I'm going to have his video linked down below, so check it out if you want. He does a really good job at kind of comparing the two, one compared to mine. Creation Club recently released a bunch of weapon skins for your guns in Fallout 4. This added in a new mechanic to the vanilla guns, basically adding in a material section. Mod authors are already taking advantage of this, and one of those mods is gun metal weapon skins. Now, for all the pipe weapons in the game, you can change their visuals, their materials on them to be one of these different gun metal skins. There's a ton of different color options here. I'm not showing you all of them, but there are quite a few. There's even some that are kind of taking advantage of the base look of the pipe weapons, but then also just kind of looking like a worn or fading paint job on top of it. I really like those. And there's other ones that are just kind of properly painted. They look like totally different with a paint job on them. I really like this. These are quite high quality. Obviously, this mod author is updating these. I know he wants to apply them to even more weapons outside of the pipe weaponry. And I imagine you're going to see a lot of these mods coming in the future. I know there's a few other mod authors working on similar things right now. I personally think it's really cool. It's a fairly small file to download. And honestly, it does make the weapons look quite a bit better. The pipe weapons are typically pretty basic and generic. And this is actually going to be integrated into the level list also. So you could see a raider using like a blue gun or something like that. This is actually a really cool one. I almost didn't include this because it was only released today and I was almost finished with the video, but the Cobra Officer's Revolver is going to add in this cool looking revolver, but it's actually a plasma revolver. That being that it does shoot plasma blasts. I really like the subtle look of the revolver. It kind of looks like a standard revolver, but there's a few green tints or green glowing things here and there that actually tell you it is a plasma revolver. Outside of that, it is largely pretty basic. There's a few tactical mods you can apply, a scope, a sight, a bayonet, things like that. There's also a ton of weapon skins that have like tactical camo, so like desert and things like that. But I'm not personally a fan of those and I just like the black version as well as the silver version. I think the black version looks the best with those green highlights. In combat, it is just a normal revolver. I was actually using none of the combat bonuses here despite being a high level. That's why it's taking so long to kill enemies with this. It's using the standard revolver animations as well as actually firing plasma cartridges. So yeah, personally, I think it's pretty cool. I really like this gun. I like revolvers in general, so I might be a bit biased, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it also. Then we do have the very long sought after and awaited caravan shotgun. This is one we've been waiting for for a little while now and very hyped for. Before we jump into it, I really wanted to show you how qualified I am to actually be making this video and coverage on it. Ah! 
Swapping. Nice. Operator standing. So yeah, obviously I know my stuff. This of course is going to be one of the most common and abundant weapons that did appear in Fallout New Vegas. This mod is actually part of Fallout 4 New Vegas. It's largely a simple weapon. You have a few modifications like shortening of the barrel. You could have a few different textures on it, but they're all very similar, just kind of different tones or tints. And it just is very functional. It has really crisp and nice animations. The textures themselves are top notch and it's fun to use. I mean, it's kind of like a double barrel shotgun, but you know, flipped the other way. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this, so I don't think there's too much need to sell you on it. Download it now. It's coming to Xbox. Xbox One very shortly. Then we have an update to and a port of the Cross Courser Strigaday. So I of course showed you guys this last week or like two weeks ago. It's a really cool new Institute Courser armor. It's going to be integrated into the level list as well as having a bunch of cool effects. It was just ported over to Xbox One and in addition on PC it just got an Armorsmith patch. It was made by another mod author but you can apply it to the mod and get some additional armor options. That's pretty much going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. I do want to give a big shout out to the people supporting me on Patreon. There's a lot of craziness going on with Patreon, YouTube, and even like some of the other platforms out there right now. So I'm always appreciative and really happy that people are supporting me. Of course, you don't have to. You can just watch my videos normally or you can buy a t-shirt, whatever you do feel like doing. As always, again, I thank you for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later.